What's going on? You're hanging out with Death Count. As you can see, you're looking at that beautiful face of Freddy Krueger, Sideshow Collectibles Premium Format Statue. I very like this statue. Uh, Dream Warriors is probably my favorite Freddy Krueger movie. If not, then part four, but um, it, I always go back and forth between Dream Warriors and the Dream Master. And as you can hear, man, my voice is fucked up. I've been sick all week. That's why I've kind of been gone for the last week. So let me get into some pros with this statue. I love the base. Um, the base, as you surround it, it gives you different scenes uh, or different kills in the movie of Dream Warriors. Here, uh, the scene when the uh, recovering drug addict of Taron uh, confronted Freddy. Freddy turned his his uh, knife glove into a needle glove. Very nice, um, very nice work here. Got a little nice valve there. And I love the color, man. It really has that boiler room feel to it. Let me surround it a bit more. <clears throat> Over here we have uh, everyone's favorite kill. The welcome to prime time, bitch scene. It's done so well, man. Like these, uh, Honestly, man, there's a lot of Freddy Krueger statues out there. Um, Sideshow has done a few, but I really feel like this is the best one because not only is it a pretty dope uh, pose, not only is the uh, is the face looking really good, man, he looks just like Robert Englund, but uh, they added all of the classic kills from probably the best Nightmare on Elm Street movie into the base. So not only do you have Freddy in the statue, but you get all of his victims as well. So it's like a shitload of statues within a statue. It's pretty dope, man. Here's that crazy, crazy scene when, um, <clears throat> excuse me, when Freddy was uh, killing this kid using his veins. Um, it's like strings, man, like controlling him like a puppet. Very intense. Let me try to get to... The other side. And I gotta say, man, like this base is so fucking dope, man. Alright, on this side, we got that classic scene when Patricia Arquette was being eaten alive by a giant penis. Oh, I mean a giant worm. And <laughs> um, I say that because in the movie, um, the, uh, there was some criticism about the snake. Because it looked just like a penis. So they had to change the color of it and stuff. So, um, uh, Pretty funny. If you guys haven't watched any like, documentaries on Dream Warriors. Go ahead. It was a real funny scene. So <clears throat> I love the variety of colors here. You know it really has that basement feel to it. That real uh, boiler room. And I uh, got some nice green there. Some uh, rusted metal there. Um, really nice work. And like I said, I have the harsh light on right now. Take a look at those boots. Some detail. Slide up. See Freddy's uh, leg. There you go. Right. <clears throat> pants are okay. I think the pants are pretty basic, but but it fits them well. <clears throat> Sweater is really nice. Um, because I have the because I have the light on, you could really see the green. Um, between the red stripes, but without the light on, which which I will show you, it looks like it could be black. But when you have the harsh light on, you could see um, you could see some of that green, and you can see some of the texture there. Very nice. Love the little uh, rips and tears. Very cool. Very dirty. Let me step up on this ladder. Because I'm tall, but I'm not that tall. I love how um, <clears throat> that they really sculpted a lot of the burnt skin all the way down the back of his neck. Looks really nice. The hat is pretty good. I wish it came off, but it's sculpted on. Um, I do have a complaint about the glove. I am a Freddy Krueger glove collector, so I know what they're supposed to look like. The back plate looks pretty good. Some of the stalls look pretty good, but there's um uh, uh but there are quite a few details on the glove that they could have added 
to make it more of like a replica, but um, I'm not going to bitch and complain about the tiniest of things, but uh, Freddy Krueger's glove should have been looking exactly like from the film, right? Like uh, um, we didn't get the strap, uh, which Freddy uses to tighten his glove. It's not on this. A uh, few details, but overall, glove is pretty good. Um, color of it is okay. See some of the blades there? There you go. Let's go into the skull. Now, with the color on, you could really see a lot of different colors. Right? Like, you definitely can't see it when you have the light off. But when you have the light on, you can definitely see the variety of colors there. It's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about the skull, not that I don't like it, it's more of a, you know, if, what what I would have did is, I would have had the skull smaller, so that it looks more of like a child skull, because Freddy Krueger is a child killer, you know, or at least, like, have it, um, have the skull looking smaller than his, right? Like, I think the skull, it looks bigger than his own head, which is kind of weird, but... <clears throat> You know, I'm not, I'm not crying over that either. And with my buddy here in the background, these guys look amazing together. Jason and Freddy. Beautiful companion pieces. They weren't meant to be uh, facing off, but it looks really cool facing off, as you can see. It's almost like it was meant to be. Give it a different focuses. Very cool. So, what else can I say? Um, uh, what else can I say, man? There's not much else to say. I'm going to show you guys how I am posing these two guys. I got lights on up high. I, I got lights down low. It's really nice to have lights from down below pointing up because in horror movies, um, they do a, a lot of lighting, um, light like pointing up. It's, uh, it's a little scarier, so... I try to do the same thing here. Try to back up a little more. You know what I mean? Like, this thing looks so fucking dope, man. Like, they look great together. They look really cool. I did my Jason review a while back. It feels like it's been like 10 years, but... Now that they're together... Very cool, man. Let me give you a different angle. Freddy kind of confronting him. Come on, mama's boy. <laughs> right? So, pretty dope, man. These guys look great together. I'm going to turn the light off, the overhead light, so you can just see my spotlights. Pretty cool. So, I'm going to show you one more look. All right, I'm back. And what I did was I changed the lights at the bottom. I put blue, green, and red. Reason being, red and green. For a Freddy sweater and blue and green green because Jason is uh in like the woods and blue because of the moonlight so um it does really pick off very well on the camera but in person it looks very nice so that's about it man I got um <clears throat> don't have that much more to say my voice is going so Oh, I, I guess I one more thing. If anyone would be interested in purchasing these guys as a pair, uh, I am willing to sell them just because I'm losing. I have like no room here. And there are some other things I want to really want to bring in. And I have a lot of um, horror stuff already. So if anyone would be interested, um, I want to sell them as a pair. So if you're interested, I'll do eleven fifty, both, including shipping within the United States. So contact me if... if uh, if you're serious and, uh, you know, I PayPal shit. So, uh, besides that, uh, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. I got something in, coming in, uh, tomorrow, pretty dope. So I'll be reviewing that as well. Okay. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Talk to you later. Peace.